Hey folks and every pony, this is Wishful Deal Hill and welcome back to the channel here and welcome back to another MLP Hori AU. It's definitely been a minute, or at least it's definitely been a little bit of a few since I've last done a Hori AU and yesterday was a rough day for me, I guess, you know. It was a bit rough and a struggle and everything, but I'm still motivated because I get happy when I make you folks happy and I get happy when I produce content that I love and I know that you folks will watch and everything. So anyway, folks here, we got the Dragon Plague and we're gonna pretty much go ahead and take a look at it, go over it and everything. Oh, and just as a side note, folks, if I ever miss anything, miss any words, or whatever, yada yada, don't get so mad or offended, because you know what, at the end of the day, none of us are perfect, but that still doesn't mean I'm not going to try and not produce content for you folks, so anyway, the link for this will be in the description below if you folks want to go ahead and check it out for yourselves, but anyway, let's go ahead and get on into this. Trigger warning, gore, infected spike. <laughs> well, ain't that a lovely sight? I, oh, come on. Let me move over with the arrow keys here. <laughs> so, I kind of figured on that, honestly. So, yeah. <laughs> I I honestly figured. Man, he's not... He's horrifying looking. Oh, shit, we even got Rarity, Fluttershy, freaking Twilight. Who else is on him? No one knows. Okay. Oh, shit. That's a close-up. All right. Well, off to a great start, folks. Off to a great start. All right. Anyway, he he talked to them, talked to them um, from time to time. He thinks they replied to him. Oh, man. Okay. So, some freaking Picamina shit here going on. Um, He went crazy and killed those who tried to help him and hung and hanged them to his horns. Damn. Af af after infection grew up really fast. Yeah, so it's definitely like that episode where I guess he matured too quickly or something, I guess. That one um, episode or whatever where we got greedy or whatever and it was because of rarity that made him come back or something. Anyway, Spike, Spike status infected. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Um, aggression, 100%. Hunger, 100%. <laughs> I figured. Um, he just wants to be with his friends. Uh, yeah, me, me too, but they're freaking all dead and shit. Good God. <laughs> Off to a great start, like I said. Okay, so here's, uh... So I guess that was the, um... Prologue, maybe, because it was part one. Trigger warning and gore, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we figured. Um, Celestia, what the hell is going on? Um, has he turned to stone? Is he molding? Oh, shit. I, I don't care. We don't have that much time. I don't have. We must attack now. Damn. Is this the end? I don't think so. Um, I I used too much. Oh shit, she. God damn, she is not doing so well. Um, keep breathing, sis. It's okay. Crack. Oh shit, he he broke free. He's escaping. Oh man. All right, Celestia, so status infected. I figured on that. Um, Sanity 29, Stress 100, Stage, huh? Oh shit, Roman numerals. So she's in Stage 2, going on Stage 3. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love Roman, I love Roman numerals. That's, that's, that's kind of creative, unique. <laughs> Something I would do. Anyway, Dragon Scales on her butt and body, plus rotting chest. Yeah, I figured. Um... The Dragon Plague AU. Damn, I like this art. This art's really good. 
All right, no. So Celestia, Celestia works tirelessly to study the causes of the virus in hopes of creating an antidote. She, she did not dare to enter into battles with the, with the infected because she was terribly afraid of becoming infected herself. Well, too little too late now, I guess, with what we just saw with her. Um, infected. Oh, shit, I lost my place. Um, yeah, there it is. Becoming infected herself and infecting her sister. Soon, the fear of contact with the infected grew into madness. The reason was not stress as Celestia amused, yeah I'm assuming, amused, um, she was infected from the very beginning, having B, having B in contact with Spike shortly before his plague awakening. Damn. Due to the high, due to the high concentration of magic, the Alicorn's body resists the disease for long, for a long time, the realization that be that because of her, Luna and her friends in the palace would die completely broke her. She decided that once she died, she would take Spike with her. Okay, so like a self-sacrifice, like a like a bomb threat, suicide bomber, I guess, but as a magic thing. <laughs> That's how I would take it. Alright. So now we got DJ Pawn Free or some pony as the um infection um stages anyway um at stage one starts from the first day to uh 14 days so the first two weeks pretty much of getting in contact um skin peeling um um bald baldness like loose and hell um cutie mark is fading let's see they they say shades like they say shades like a reptile, in quote, dragon, actually, cross that out. <laughs> and, f and they may feel tired. Yeah, damn, if that's the first infection, then, the first stage, then, you're screwed, bud. You're freaking screwed. Alright, stage two, um, from 14 days to 21 days. So, a little over a week later or so. Um, three weeks in advance, um, vein swell, um, gets blistered, aka dragon scales, and starts losing sanity, is in pain as it hurts, um, mostly red blisters, red dragon, red dragon face, damn, and though, and though, proceeding, proceeding, I guess, damn, yeah, that's not good at all, <laughs> Stage 3 from 21 days to 28 days, um, let's see, pupils fill, pupils fill with pus, aka white dragon phase, um, let's see, rotting begins and regeneration, ah, damn, um, pupils dilate, can't see well in the light, um, body doesn't understand which muscle to regenerate and may grow, and may groove a hoof on the, on the chest, jeez. She got hell inside, she got hell, she got hell instead of rot or gross or whatever. Damn, that looks painful. First one looks painful, they even got some on their damn tail, jeez. Shit. Alright, and stage four. Hey, it's actually VI instead of IV instead of, um, the four eyes. Um, Anyway, so this starts from 28 days to unknown. Um, she, she still feels everything. Oh shit, that's painful. Um, she hurts and no one, she hurts and no one just cries from pain. Damn. Um, please end her suffering. Holy shit, is that a freaking... God damn. Are those freaking eyes? On her arm? God. Um, her senses have become highlighted and she will so show aggression to any stimulus. Um, chaotic regeneration, or whatever. And damn. <laughs> that looks gruesome as all hell. As if the first one wasn't bad enough, the first stage. Um, 
They will end up wandering around a crusher crying from pain, begging for death. Okay, so we got Lyra Hero cutting off an infection. Damn. Um, it may seem that if you cut off a damaged limb, it may stop the disease, but it will not. The plague is already in your whole body, and you and you won't stop it. However, however, some unicorns try to slow down the rotting with magic. So pretty much, um, there's no use towards it either way. If you cut off a limb, it'll just grow right back like a lizard. Um, now we got Cadence here. Prince, not Cadence. Uh, Crystal, excuse me. Prince, Queen Crystal. Um, my god, my mustache is driving me nuts. Um, her idea was to leave a, to leave a small group of plague-worshipping cultists alive and feed on the festival. Yeah, um, hang on. Factional, factional love for her, for her child, the plague. The plague. What? Okay, I guess that big ass red dragon from like season one or whatever. We'll we'll roll with that. We'll roll with it. The plague was involved and spread and spread by Chrysalis. She also knows the antidote spell antidote magic spell. She forces the regeneration at the stage three to work correctly, favorably healing the patient's body. It, could you do it a bit sooner? Um, and then we got Celestia again. Which is just the same thing of what we went to before. Alright, skip over. Thank you. I'm going to take a sip now. <clears throat> so it looks like we got Starlight Glimmer and... Uh, and uh, Queen Chrysalis. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's not lovely to have heads on your damn back. Um, anyway, Starlight Glimmer, High Priests um, of Plague. High Priestess, Priestess or whatever? Um, a pri high Priest, pretty much to say the least. Um, leader of the cult. Oh, good, she's back to her old damn roots. Back in Season 5. Um... Um, crown of power made from heads of those who betrayed the cult. Lovely. Um, comfort her cutie mark with Celestia's face skin. <laughs> Chrysalis, um, Chrysalis's small bitch. Alright, lovely. So she is back to her old damn roots all over again. Just like with before with all of the equal cutie marks and everything that societal place. Um, the plague, the plague will make everyone equal. No, it will not. Um, scars from, scars from plague. Lovely. So what the hell is this giant metal thing on her freaking neck or whatever here? How can you even function? I mean, I know the horses and all, but it's like, how can you, like, function with a big-ass metal piece on your head? <laughs> anyway... Um, Chrysalis knew Starlight would be the perfect cult leader because of her ideas of universal equality. Yeah, and just like her little society that she had before, too. Um, having survived the first stages of the disease, Starlight became even more crazy. Then Chrysalis approached, uh, approached to her as the approved, excuse me, or whatever, of her as the mother of plague. And offered to become the mess, the mess, the messiah, and the new world of equality. <laughs> Lovely, Mama Christmas, Mama, Mama Christmas loves me. Yeah, I bet she does. I'm cool. <laughs> also, I like that Roblox face she got there, <laughs> or that meme face or whatever. Anyway, Christmas implied. Im implanted or whatever, excuse me, a magic bug in Starlight's head to track, to track her thoughts. Lovely. Um, unicorns may be dangerous to, may be dangerous to, um, Christeel's, Chrysalis's new world, as they may come up with a healing spell on their own. However, soon Chrysalis realized Starlight is as royal as a dog. 
and would never betray the cult. Chrysalis taught her, um, taught her a then a then healing spell in order to in order to digate um to degate delegate de dele delegate or whatever to her to her the responsibilities of healing the cult members. Lovely. Yep, and we saw that before. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's just zoomed in. Alrighty. Rainbow Factory, shut the frick up. I am not getting a copyright strike this time. <laughs> Even though that's a Boehner song, I'm I'm not taking chances, folks. I'm not taking I'm not taking any chances here. So anyway, um Tr Trixie healed, status healed. Nice. Um, Sanity is uh, 41, stress 60, um, she has scars, very afraid of cursed cutie mark and covers it with hat. It, you know, that's just a silly feel monger thing that they do to you. I'm not afraid to show my butt around. <laughs> um, anyway, um, her legs were once broken, so they're, so they're crook crooked for now. Damn. Wait a minute, then how is she standing? I guess by some magic, that can make sense. Her horns are so broken as well. Um, anyway, um, Trixie doesn't believe in the in the seats. Um, in the seats. Um, teach in the seats teachings. She just want. She just want to survive. Yeah, me too. Um, Cadence, Cadence treated her with the magic of love, so she could easier. So she could easier accept her fate. Since then, she has no. Since then, she has no, repentance, a, a penitent, uh, acceptance. I get no, a pen. A pen we'll just go with repentance. Um, Starlight treats, Starlight treats her well, and even offered to become one of the high priests. But Trixie chose to broke out of, to break her horn, but, but not, but not to let um, Chrysalis. Um, Christies, Chris, yeah, Chrysalis, um, the words are mixed up in here. It's both part of this say you and my shitty reading. <laughs> anyway, Chrysalis's spider get to her head. So she broke free from the system. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, Cadence, no. Uh, let's get the freaking play button out the way. Stop it. No spoilers, at least for now. She is now the plague daughter. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Is that her family? Is that Shiny Normal and freaking, oh, uh, what's that baby's name? Flowey Heart? Oh no. Oh my god. This is something H.P. Lovecraft would freaking make. Good God. Alrighty. <laughs> Jesus, that's gruesome. Um, Chrysalis hates her. Yeah, no shit. Um, but doesn't let her die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for the smiley face there. <laughs> Good God. Um, let's see. Um, Bane, um, the boop. Boo gained the safety of her husband and child for her life. Damn. Um, with her magic, she makes non-believing ponies who comes who comes to beseech who comes to be sense to fall in love with the with the plague and chrysalis, so she allows them to stay. Cadence dreams that the future generations will live in a sweet lie along with changelings and she will no longer have to brainwash them with magic. Oh shit. Copies of Lily Heart growing out of her body. Holy shit, what? Wait. <laughs> oh my god. So are you telling me she's consciousness throughout here? Oh my god, that is that is messed up. So from what I take it, she's alive, suffering in pain, and is forcefully given now um freaking horrific of flurry heart. Jeez. 
That is so fucked. <laughs> that, oh my God. That's Jesus. My God. Um, Chrysalis, Chrysalis cuts the, cuts the mini fluies out, mini, mini fluey hearts, um, off of Chris, of Caden's body while healing her and makes a stew out of them for her, quote, special guest, Shining Armor and the Real Flurry Heart. Oh, that's even worse. Jesus. <laughs> Trixie found out about this one day. Perhaps that's why she no longer has an appetite. Yeah, damn. Nah, I wonder what this stuff is made of. Just eat and ask no questions, Shining Armor. It, yeah, it, no, no shit. Maybe you should freaking know so you could stop eating your damn kid. Oh my god. That is so messed up. No audio? Alright, well, we, we don't want audio. We'll, we'll go with no audio. No, go away. I don't want that, Mark. Um, anyway, so captured Luna. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is just a freaking doomsday of Annihilation Apocalypse here. Freaking Armageddon here with this AU. Um, getting after... Getting their skin removed, they begin to get a little scale, a little scaled due to the plague, and then High Priest heal them. Shit. That is messed up. No. Um, Celestia, Celestia and Luna supported the... Excuse me. Supported the... The barrier, the yeah, the barrier once can't once can't a lot with Sombra by the by the um yeah by the degree of by the degree of by the degree of Chris of Chris yeah Queen Chrysalis broke it and and fought with the sisters but he did not have enough power to kill them. After that, Celestia and Luna were very weakened. The plague began to process began to progress. Um, Celestia went crazy and searched for Spike, considering him the heart of all troubles. Then, n then, then near Spike, she and her sister were captured by Celeste, by, uh, Chrysalis. Uh, okay then, I guess. Um, now, now the sisters are sitting in a basement next to Cadence and and right and rising the sun and the moon every day. Um, I keep forgetting her name. Queen Chrysalis threatens them well, threatens them well to keep the fur glossy, and once in a certain period, removes the skin because Sombra needs a new car needs a new carpet, and Starlight need Starlight needs needs new cutie pants. All right then, lovely. <laughs> Good God. Um, and then there's captured Celestia. Jeez. Yeah, she looks lovely, though. Um, now we have a new royal carpet and cutie pants for Starlight. Goody. I love that very much. <laughs> God damn. Um, let's see. Why aren't Celestia and Luna killed? Um... Starlight and the other unicorns from the from the seat are looking for a spell that will allow them that will allow them to steal the cutie marks forever. Also, just like before in season five, in some sense, but even more advanced. Um, and not just for one day. Until then, they need to be alive. Also, with her magic, Starlight was able to resurrect Sombra, a trump a trump card that allowed Chrysalis to to break. To break through the sisters' barrier. Alrighty then. However, Sombra wouldn't want to serve to serve to Chris to Chrysalis. So Star so Starlight sealed away most of most of his powers. Then, then she's able to then she's able to do this. Able to do this be Sombra like her undead familiar. Um, Sombra, with his am ambitions, is still dangerous for Chrysalis, but it seems like he he was and he was appealed and 
whatever presented and whatever with carpets. He really enjoys mocking weak ponies. He's having fun and almost forgot his... He's having fun and almost forgot about his intentions? Interrogations or whatever? Eh, nothing like a change of mind. Okay, so now we got- No! Holy shit! Turn that down! <laughs> Jeez, I don't mean to have that spike up. Oh my god, my mustache. I need a freaking brush for it. Anyway, um, so now we got Sunburst, High Priest of Plague. He was promised power and strength, and he's and and with his cap and with his and and with his com complexes took the bait. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit more. He's still unhappy, but he has become content that he content can. Really convinced that he is happy, even when he's not pretty much. Um, ask, ask Sombra to test his spells. No one else gives a fuck, but he does pretty much. And Sombra sometimes accidentally misses. That's why he often, he, he often has fresh burns. Oh, okay. So Sombra purposefully attacks him. And, and you see what I mean with these big ass metal pieces and stuff? Like, I guess it's just barely over the throat or whatever. Um, he doesn't have heads on his crown, quote, like like Starlight does. He's too, he's too screenish, screenish, I guess. And he has Luna's face skin. Damn. Addition jump scale. Thank you, Apple Bloom. Wait a second. Why the frick do you have a hand? Whatever. And then we got um. Oh shit. App. Wait, who is that? That's um. Uh, uh that's uh Scootaloo and Apple Bloom. Yeah. Jeez. Sleep, dude. Sleep, little children. Damn. Sometimes sun sometimes sun push wakes them up to check on their condition. Yeah, maybe don't. Um Oh no, it's all three of the crusaders. Shit. Scootaloo, Apple Bloom, and Sweetie Bell. Wait, where is Sweetie Bell? Cause I see freaking Scootaloo's head and Apple Bloom here. Jesus. Um let's see. Try to get into seat. Alright, shut up. You're distracting me way too much. Excuse me. Anyway, um, let's see. Try to get into the seat as as spies, but try to get into the seat as spies, but they were discovered. Scootaloo and Apple Bloom became test subjects for for Sunburst. Oh no. Who explores the limits of the plague regeneration? They've cried so loudly that Luna heard them and volunteered to put them to put them to eternal sleep. Gee, not the kids. No, not the fillies. No. Oh God. So what happened to Sweetie Belle? Holy oh, shit, that's banning. Okay, now we got to the queen herself. Stop it. Stop going over. Um, anyway, trigger one in as usual and everything. And it looks like... Is that lightning dust? Is that lightning dust? I think so. Anyway, should have listened to mommy. Yeah, for sure, to mom. Um, her neck and chest are fluffy. Good to know. <laughs> Smiley face. Um, chrysalis, chrysalis plague, mother. Yep, for sure. Um, ponies, ponies say that she became good and gave the ponies the healing spell while Celestia left her people. I beg to differ with all of the shit we've seen so far. Um, 
freaking Sombra and his pads. Oh good, he's wearing freaking... He's wearing freaking Celestia's toe. That's lovely. And it looks like, I think that's the mayor. Yeah, it has to be because she's like the only one with glasses from what I can tell. And, uh, Big Mac. Or a few other ponies, jeez. God damn. Um, Crystal West has a lot of anger towards Celestia and her, and her people, aka ponies or whatever. Um, she can't forgive Celestia for the scars, for the scar holes on her body and the, and, and the empoisonment of the, empoisonment of the swan in the center in the crater of a volcano, of a volcano. Okay, so I guess that was like an inner monologue thing, I guess. Um, Crystal Wish, Crystal Wish actions combined her anger towards the pony race. Um, factional, yeah, factional love for her people and her, and her dusk is, is, and her, Deest, dusk, whatever, desk or something, um, is a mother, and for ponies, she is a goddess. And those who, and those hooves are though, and, and those hooves are though, frail, and though frail lives. She gives, she gives lives to those to, to live, to live to her children. Well, basically, she's an almighty, whatever, da da da, and everyone worships her. <laughs> I know I don't have the best reading skills, but you know what? You're gonna bear with me here. <laughs> anyway, to read the code, she came up with a to came up with a lead. Um, yeah, a a a a, a legend. Excuse me, that that was that was King that was King Sombra, who was the the court the 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 court. Oh my god, stop the music. I'm I'm slipping here, folks. Um the whatever of the of the element. I, I I take it the um the dark magic thing, whatever that um Trixie was using, that amulet or whatever I guess. Um he took advantage of the of the chaos caused by the plague dragon gods and and over and overthrew the hourcorns of Equestria. However, Chrysalis and the High Priest were able to to take control of the monster, and now and now they are looking for a way to destroy him without the elements of harmony. That's why Sombra is walking. That's why Sombra is walking around, or walking around the shelter, the shelter or whatever. Chrysalis. Chrysalis realized, released, and realized. I'm assuming realized that she needed the love of ponies, and and she rep and she reprinted, represented. Excuse me, just just like the other high priests, the sun, um, the sun crown is not only a sign of power but also a painful punishment for for past sins. Alrighty, makes sense. Oh no, a shelter of worms. Yeah, that's <laughs> gruesome. Um, in addition, the in addition, the plague is a kind of punishment sent by the dragon gods. Um, made um made to made to cleanse Equestria of sin of sinners, but but Chrysalis has the power to go against it. And also became a kind of sa a kind of savior god for ponies. However, in in order to avoid the wrath of the gods ag again, um, yeah, again, ponies need to reconsider the way of life. Sin less ex sin less accepts the idea of plague of plague equal equality as and always obey the savior goddess. Um. Ponies believe in believe in this fairy tale and now follow the cult. Alrighty, <laughs> I this is interesting so far. Um, let's see. Besides the, b 
besides the 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 Malay Malaya whatever of the besides a handful of survivors pretty much um another um another hopeful ponies is the unicorn is the is the union of Sombra and Flowy Heart because Sombra because Sombra cherishes a plan Tremishes gives me a plan to overthrow the old bitch Chrysalis, but but because of but because of Starlight, whose hooves his hooves are tired, um, yeah, Flowey Heart, who is being raised, who is being raised as the successor to the High Priest, be um, can become his be can become his hooves with the help of which he will rise. He will he will. Right, rise and uprising, and Flowey Heart, who knows maybe the desire to return the pony's freedom will awaken in her heart. So let's see, acts like he's good. So Sombra pretty much, um, so I guess Sombra pretty much, um, is definitely a faker, you know, he pretends on things pretty much. Um, native child who knows nothing, <laughs> um, Tells her not to talk to King Sombra. Yeah, figured on that. But you freaking wait a second. Oh, so that's the real one. Okay. I thought I thought that was all. I thought back there with uh, Cadence, whatever that was like, her forever children. But that makes sense now. Alrighty. No, I did not want to get rid of the music, and I did not want it to be that loud. Jesus. Hate when you do that. Alright, anyway, so we're stopping here. Turning the music down a bit. Now I'm gonna take another sip. Oh my god. Throat's starting to run dry, folks. My throat is starting to run dry. <coughs> that should be reasonable. Um, led by Sakura and Sunset Shimmer, who returned to, who returned at Celestia's requ request, a small group of survivors fled from Equestria, a far, far to the south. Um, Rainbow Dash and Applejack were with them. Pinky refused to run, um, remaining in Equestria to look after her missing friends. Rainbow Dash wanted to go with her, but Applejack managed to hold Rainbow back. Alrighty, um, as, as day turns to night, the group of, the group, the group of, and, and visitors, um, or whatever, know, knows that Princess Luna and Celestia are alive, are alive, and do not, and do not lose hope of day one returning and, and saving them. Um, they call themselves the Dawn Pony. Alright, nice. Very interesting. Um, let's see. Um, Flushai, Flushai hang on, hangs on Spike's horns for some time, but but was still alive. Discord found her and made a deal with with Chrysalis. Discord does not stop does not stop her from spreading the plague, and she heals Fluttershy. Discord himself could not could not um. Yeah, could not chaos magic is able to able to sublime to give regeneration, I guess, or something maybe. That that's my take on it, I guess. Um, now they live together with Chris with Chrysalis community. Flareshite has become a bit of a a bit of a vent ventable um vent veggie tail. That no um, what whatever, blah blah blah. After her experience, and it seems and it seems to her that everything is fine because Discord is nearby. It yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> um, let's see. Pinky was heart was heartbroken and refused to and refused to flee with everyone returning to the returning to the infected Ponyville, while she. While she was dying from the virus, no, that's no. Flareshy's animals, Flareshy's animals, excuse me, found her, and now she lives with, and now she lives with her in a seat. 
Okay, nice. Skate or whatever. Um, she continues to she continues to entertain her friend and other ponies in the seat, although she although she turns out to be in in eternally and and whatever um broken pretty much. Let's see. Bonus on the left side there is an addition there is an infected pinky sweeping. Ah nice. What's the infected pinky? Well going too going a bit too fast though. There's Spike again. Um after 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 melting infected Spike grew wings and was able to fly around all of Equestria in search of friends. Um and Infecting almost the entire population with the virus. However, and however, and races other than ponies and dragons sometimes are not, are not expressed. Yeah, expressed in any way. Okay, so it's pretty much unknown who else could get it. Pretty much, um, he was never able to find them because because Sunset was hiding a group of, of. Rebels, pretty much, um, with mag with magic, pretty much. Um, after that, he flew, he flew somewhere far in the mountains and disappeared. Perhaps he is already dead. But I mean, still, that's sad, though. Poor Spike. Um, small bonus sketches. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and see them. <laughs> um, let's see. Thank, thank you so much for staying with me. I'm very grateful. I'm, I'm very grateful to you for your feedback and interest in my work. This was the last part of the AU. You can take my idea as a as a base, yeah, as a as a basis and make your own options of the future of the future events. Um, don't forget to tag me though, please. And and rightfully so, pretty much. So pretty much, he's saying this is the end of the book, pretty much. But feel free to. Open it up and write it again. Whatever you want to add, just make sure to give me credit. And rightfully so, because they made this. The artwork's amazing, by the way, too. I'm returning to the usual posting of content about my original characters. I have already talked a little about it in my account. You can check. Um, you can check out. You can. Ch you can. You can check it on the playlist. Um. I would be very grateful if you continue if you continue to follow me. Maybe my maybe my other OCs would interest you. Yeah, sure. You definitely do some pretty damn good art. Like the amount of time and everything. Um, let's see. There is a dragon in in Chrysalis base in Chrysalis's basement. She gave him a whole mountain of gold, and he doesn't leave any well. At the same time, he guards the captive alicorns. Damn, that's pretty tough. <laughs> Alright, nice. Um, he loves to pull, he loves to pull Celestia's tail because she reminds him, because she reminds him a shiny gemstone. Damn. I can see that with the colors and everything, but man, damn. He asks... He asks, um, he asks Chrysalis not to make car make the carpets out of her too often. Be, be, be after that. She is no longer a gem, but a plagued chicken. Damn. Plucked chicken or whatever. Addition jump scare. There's Apple Bloom with the freaking hand again. Oh yeah, and there's, there's Pinky again with her infection. Damn. That's gruesome. Um... A heart, let's see, a heart grew on her back and her body was covered with veins. Why, why, why didn't you snow away with them, dummy? Oh man. Look, I'm now as sleeky as, now look, I'm sleeky as you. I'm a crocodile. Raw. That damn. She wanted him to deliver a letter to her friend, but he never left her side. Well, at least she died with her friend, Gummy. <laughs> Damn. All right, folks. Well, that is that is the Dragon Plague. <clears throat> oh man, <laughs> that was that was gruesome as all hell. <clears throat> all right, so 
basically, um, I'm still a bit confused a little as to how it started, but I overall enjoyed this one. I, I really feel bad for Spike in this one here. So, I guess from what I take it, it takes place in the um, episode where Spike, you know, like I said, he, like, that one episode where he matured or grew up too fast or whatever, and he started to grow rapidly or whatever, became more dragon-like and whatnot, and it was because of, um, I think it was because of, um, if I remember correctly, yeah, it was uh, Rarity with the gem that she was wearing, and how... It gave him, like, the memory of, you know, that he gave it to her and everything, that even though he, like, really, really wanted it in the beginning, he decided to put aside what he wanted and felt that it was more important for, um, uh, Rarity to have. And it was because of, like, that memory, that flashback or whatever, that he just snapped into his cutie baby dragon self and everything. So from what I take it, um, because of him growing up and everything or whatever, it added in an extra virus, the dragon plague, pretty much. And that's how this whole overall thing started here. I really did enjoy this one. There were definitely some errors here and there. Yes, it was also on my end as well because I'm stupid at reading but it was also a little bit on their side as well with some spelling. But I overall, I really enjoyed this one. So, I feel like, um, and I'm wondering too now that I think on it. I think maybe um, Shining Armor is also brainwashed. Similar to that at the end of Season 2, where Chrysalis tried to marry Shining Armor. And, like, she put... Um, she threw in the disguise as Princess Cadence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think that's also similar to, well, Shining Armor was a bit sussy or whatever, you know, you know, a bit uh, derpy or whatever. He's got, like, the green eyes or whatever. I think this is kind of similar to on some level because he doesn't really know, um, he doesn't seem to, like, really be concerned or wonder what happened to cadence or whatever but he does know his daughter though but i overall really enjoyed this one i feel super bad for the cutie mark crusaders i feel bad for i feel bad for cadence the fucking most out of any of them because she's pretty much just giving birth to freaking it 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 legit sounds like an hb lovecraft freaking shit here where she's giving birth babies to little mini fluey hearts or whatever that they chop up and turn into freaking stew or whatever for the special guests and stuff. Like, there's a bunch of fucked up stuff in this one here. But I, I overall enjoyed this one. It was a bit hard to follow, but I, I overall enjoyed this one. I freaking love the art. I like how, I know it's a small edition, but I like how they added in the Roman numerals as the, uh, as the uh, stages instead of just, you know, as the stage numbers. Instead of just one, two, three, it's Roman numerals. I really liked that small edition. But anyway, overall, I really enjoyed this one. It's pretty fucked up and very disturbing. But you know what? I, I can dig with it. The art's pretty freaking good. The story so far with what it has or what it was is pretty damn decent, really good. And I I overall really enjoyed this one. This one seemed really damn good and everything. Hopefully you folks enjoyed this one as much as I did, despite my slip-ups and bad reading and everything. I don't think I personally did too bad, honestly, looking back on it just now. But anyway, that's pretty much enough for this video here. I'm curious to know, what do you folks think of this AU? I'm glad I'm a or say, I'm glad I was able to go ahead and cover an AU for you folks today and everything. And, uh, yeah, so with all that being said, pretty much that is pretty much it for this video here. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more, hit hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you all sooner or later. Oh, and one last thing, um, 
The link will be in the description below, as I said from the beginning. So if your folks want to check this out for yourselves, feel free to down in the description. But anyway, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye, everyone.